Any type of physical activity helps strengthen the muscles and keeps you fit. But doing heavy exercise doesn't necessarily mean you will succeed in gaining all the health benefits. There has to be consistency in everything to see the result. Researchers have found out that walking 30 minutes every day holds a lot of benefits to your health and it is more effective than high load workout. And also revealed medium intensity exercise such as 3 minute walk every day can improve your overall health and reduce the risk of premature death by 4%. Welcome to our channel. Today we will see what happens to our body if we walk for 30 minutes every day. Walking is one of the best exercises to keep the body fit, but for that, the most important is to make it a routine for your everyday life. Research showed that walking for at least 30 minutes is the best therapy you can give to your body. The key is to walk ideally. At least 30 minutes a day, says Melena B. Jampolis, MD, author of The Doctor Demand Diet. And whether you decide to lace up your sneakers and walk to work, pair up with a friend, or join a hiking club, walking can do everything from lowering your blood pressure and reducing your risk of chronic diseases, making your brain sharper and your heart happier. Walking is so simple that everyone can do it. Study shows that regular walking actually modifies your nervous system so much that you will experience a decrease in anger and hostility, especially when you go through a walk through some greenery or soaking in a bit of sunlight. The great Greek physician Hippocrates once said, walking is a man's best medicine and now it's even proved. Do you know over 35 million people around the world suffer from Alzheimer's? And sadly, it's only getting worse. Scientists predict that this number will double in the next 20 years is such a disappointment. But the good news is that people who are physically active throughout their life are much prone to this disease than those who have a more sedentary lifestyle. Walking 30 minutes every day was shown to improve the brain resistance to Alzheimer's disease and cognitive impairment and reduce memory loss over time. And there is an alarming rise in occurrence of heart disease as well. In the past 25 years, now it is more with young men who are only 20 or 35. Cardiovascular disease, which is the main concern in current situation, caused mainly due to your lifestyle which include unhealthy diet and not exercise. So there was a multiple study report done where they found that 30 minutes walk a day was going to benefit your health greatly in the way of cardiovascular health. It's going to decrease cardiovascular events by 31% and it decreased death held by cardiovascular disease by 32%. Regular physical activity can help reduce your risk of heart disease and stroke. If you can walk independently and maintain a speed of 4 to 6 kilometers per hour for half an hour per day, then walking is sufficient exercise. Walking needs to sustain your interest in the long term. Walking can protect against chronic diseases and there is less risk of injury compared to other forms of exercise. The study done by the University of Boulder, Colorado and the University of Tennessee found that going for half an hour walk in a day can lower your blood pressure from 11 points. So for the people who are suffering from high blood pressure, this has to be your daily routine if you want to balance blood pressure. Next is joint pain. Did you know each pound of body weight puts 4 to 6 pounds of pressure on each knee joint? Lots of people are suffering from joint pain nowadays. Their shoulder hurts, their neck hurts, and their back hurts. Joints are meant to move and when you move the joints, it lubricates it. So walking helps joints to keep lubricated and reduce joint pain. And those who are suffering from arthritis, which is now rapidly growing, it'll decrease arthritis pain and the next one is to boost your immune system. The study done by British Journal of Sports Medicine took 1,000 adults and what they found is 30 minutes walk a day reduces the sick day by 43%. 
dead. So all these people getting the flu, respiratory viruses, it was decreasing them their chances of getting those sicknesses and it was found that those who got sick recover even faster when they are going on the walk every day. It's always very good for your immune system to get out and get the fresh air. We hear a lot of suicidal cases nowadays and this shows that many people are getting into depression. The rate of depression among millennials are naturally increasing every passing day. When you have depression or anxiety, exercise often seems like the last thing you want to do. But once you get motivated and know how only a 30 minute walk can make a big difference, the connection between depression, anxiety and exercise aren't entirely clear, but walking for a few minutes or other forms of physical activity can definitely ease the symptoms of depression or anxiety or make you feel better. So instead of sitting up on the couch looking at social media and get depressed, get up and go for a walk with your family, your pet and you are going to feel so much better after that. You'll be surprised to know that in human history, the number of overweight people rivals the number of underweight people. While the world's underfed population has declined slightly since 1980 to 1 billion, the number of overweight people has surged to 1.1 billion people. The population of overweight people has expanded rapidly in recent decades. In the United States, 55% of adults are overweight by international standards, with poor eating habits and sedentary lifestyles, the obesity is at its peak. And for this, there is only one solution, and that is to maintain a healthy lifestyle by eating healthy diet, and main thing is exercise or any physical activity. We are in the world where we have access to get everything from the internet, and we are just to sit and order. We barely walk, sometimes only if we need to go out, but also by cars or any other means of transportation, so you don't even need to carry heavy weights to maintain a healthy lifestyle. Walking 30 minutes every day helps you burn your calories. Walking might not be the most strenuous form of exercise, but it is an effective way to get in shape and burn fat. While you can spot reduced fat, walking can help reduce overall fat, including belly fat, which, despite being one of the most dangerous types of fat, is also one of the easiest to lose. You can absolutely see weight loss results from walking 30 minutes a day, said Tom Holland, MSCSCS, an exercise physiologist, marathoner, and fitness advisor for Bowflex. A 30-minute walk can burn around 150 to 200 calories, he said, depending on the factors like your speed and body weight. It's going to boost your metabolism and tone you up. Walking is just a great thing to start if you are not exercising or working out. So 30 minutes of walk every day will keep you fit. Of course, you have to have a proper diet first to see the result. We are the generation of night owls. We can sleep properly at night and we take lots of stress of everything around us. This generation is loaded with restless anxiety and stress and pressure. When stress affects the brain with its many nerve connections, the rest of the body feels the impact as well. Only if the body feels better, so does your mind. Exercise and other physical activities such as walking produce endorphins, chemicals in the brain that act as natural painkillers, and also improve the ability to sleep, which, in turn, reduces stress. Scientists have found that regular walking for a short amount of time has been shown to decrease overall levels of tension, elevate and stabilize mood, improve sleep, and improve self-esteem. Around 30 minutes of walking can begin to stimulate anti-anxiety effects. So to walk is to be human. We're only the species that gets around by standing up and putting one foot in front of the other. In 6 million years, humans have been bipedal. Our ability to walk upright has allowed humankind to travel great distance and survive changing climates, environments, and landscapes. But walking is more than just a transportation. It has happened to be really good for us. With the research done in countless scientific studies, Studies, we found that this simple act of moving our feet can provide a number of health benefits and help us live longer. 
With this, we are at the end of our video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up by clicking on the like button and subscribe to our channel to see more content like this in the future and click the bell icon to get a notification for our upcoming videos. Stay healthy, stay fit and yes, don't forget to lace your shoes and go on a 30 minute walk every day. Thanks for watching.